Dr. Bradley Nelson, author of The Emotion Code, who came up with the concept of a heart wall, says 93% of people have a heart wall. That's a staggering number. Could that be what's holding you back in life? Removing the heart wall is just removing the obstacles in your path and is the foundation for all the rest. There are five reasons removing your heart wall may be a good place to start. Number one, do you want to be happy, experience joy and peace? Do you want more energy? Number three, do you want to be in the flow as athletes describe it? Number four, experience good communication with the resulting success in life. And number five, knowing what your mission or purpose in life is. All of these could be the result of removing your heart wall. Here is how just one of my clients put it after I removed his heart wall. Mental clarity and ability to focus on a goal increased by 75%. I'm now able to claim my power. I'm receiving increased respect from my peers and business associates have increased confidence both as a business leader and in the game as an athlete. My athletic abilities have improved so much that I was able to wow my personal trainer, can now crush my physical training. I'm now able to be in the flow, or as the elite athletic trainers describe it, unconscious competence. That means I can focus undistracted on the results I want, not how to do it. And last but not least, I'm a better husband and enjoying an improved relationship with my wife. I never realized how deeply I loved her until now. I can feel the love so much better now. So how does the heart wall get built? Anytime you felt like your heart was breaking, you felt a pain in your heart or heaviness in your chest, deep sadness, for example, response to emotional trauma or danger, chances are your heart was sending a signal to your subconscious mind for help. Your subconscious mind then gathered up all the negative and trapped emotions it could find and began to build and add on to your heart wall. As a certified emotion code and body code practitioner, I have even found heart walls that began in utero, depending on what was going on for mom at the time. That is how some people end up with a really big heart wall. Just depends on what happened to you along in life. Maybe you're more fortunate only have a little heart wall. How do we find those trapped emotions creating your heart wall? We do that by muscle testing and using the emotion code chart to find the emotions. Since this heart wall is made up of energy of the emotions that are trapped in your body, the wall can take the symbolic form of whatever makes you feel safe. For some people, that could take on the energetic form of stainless steel, a brick wall, like you see here, or a wall made of thorn bushes. Let me give you an example of how a heart wall hinders communication. Dr. Bradley Nelson uses the example of a butterfly when he talks about the heart wall and communication. Just imagine your heart over here and it has layers and layers of trapped emotions around it. Well, as you're trying to communicate with someone, that communication has to go through all those layers. So the message from your heart may have started out looking like a beautiful butterfly, but as it goes through all the layers of negative trapped emotions, such as anger, hurt, sorrow, and other emotions, that butterfly now becomes distorted so that it now begins to look more like a dragon instead of a butterfly. So the person receiving your message isn't getting the right message. That is an example of how your communication can be twisted and misunderstood. Being misunderstood can leave you feeling isolated and like you don't fit in. Does that sound familiar? Communication is everything in business. Once your heart wall is removed, you may feel profoundly more connected to people and they to you, which could help them to be more favorable to you and what you have to offer. Improving your chances of success. 
What are some other symptoms of a heart wall? Number one, perhaps not being able to attract positive people and get positive results. Why? Because you have all those negative emotions around your heart. What do you think that negativity is going to attract for you? Number two, you may have low energy. Number three, you may feel like you're walking around in a fog, not knowing what your purpose or mission is in life. Or if you do know your purpose and mission in life, you might be lacking in joy and sense of fulfillment. Number four, feeling numb and empty. This could result in seeking a codependent relationship because you need to be filled up from somewhere could it be part of why a person turns to drugs and addictions to fill up the sensation of emptiness? Number five, feeling like you don't belong and feel emotionally isolated. Need I say more than that? So maybe it's time to take down your heart wall. The next video will help you see that. See you next time.